You're late. I'm sorry. I was waiting for him to go to sleep. Sorry's not going to cut it. I don't take excuses. My time's important to me, and you would do well to remember that. I know. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Make sure it doesn't. Can we get this over and done with? I've got a prior engagement tonight, and I need to get back to her. Shh. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of tied up right now. It's not like she's going to go anywhere. For fuck's sake, Nigel. Can you pretend to be a decent human being for five fucking minutes? But masquerading as a normal person day after day is so exhausting. I'm done. All the information you need is on the parking ticket in the Bible. Be there Sunday night, 10 o'clock. And if you're not, I'll be starting without you. Nigel, move. Well, come on, then. Hey, Amy, it's me. Um, sorry to bring you at this hour. It must be middle of the night for you. No, it, it's fine, honestly. I was awake anyway. What's up? It's you sound really anxious. Just life. I mean, it's really getting me down right now. And really? I don't know what to do. What's going on? Last time we spoke, I thought things were going fine. Luke had a new job and the kids were doing well in school. He quit that job and all he does is sit about and play that stupid bloody game of his. Like, the kid needs new stuff for school and I can't repay the mortgage and Christmas is round the corner and I can't even afford a bloody turkey. I'm working three bloody jobs. I rang you because I need some advice. I've been offered a new job, but I don't know if I should take it. Like, it could be stressful. Right, well, what, what, kind of, what kind of job is it? It's customer service. Just like, just don't think I can answer. Like, we're worried something might go wrong, and I just don't think I can handle it. But how badly can you really screw up customer service? I mean, if you're really worried about it, don't do it. You could always grab that good for nothing husband of yours and force him to get up and get a fucking job. No good, lazy. But anyway, it's nearly Christmas. And those kids deserve a happy one. Look, if you're desperate, I can loan you some cash again this year. It's not a problem. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. It's, it, it's fine. I'll, I'll sort it. I'll just grit my teeth and do it. <laughs> but, um, I'll, you know, I, I gotta go. Okay, um, I'll speak to you later. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hello, 
this is Luke. Can't take your call at the moment. Get hold of Clara if you need anything. Hey, hey babe, it's me. Um, just want to let you know that um, you'll have to pick the kids up tonight. Like I've been called in, and there's nothing I can do about it really. Um, yeah. Um, probably playing that bloody game of yours, aren't you? <laughs> Bet you you love that game more than me. But um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. All right. Um, I love you. <laughs>